Hello and welcome back to Hidden Gems and Other Oddities with me, Darcy Bits. Today we are continuing Boyfriend Dungeon. If things are a little bit shaky, look a little bit different, I had to tear down my setup and reestablish it, but that's not what we're here to talk about. Let's jump into the game. Alright, where did we leave off? I don't remember. What can I build? That's the most important thing, right? Alright, we got a bunch of gifts that I don't care about. <laughs> Things for other people? Please. A knight helmet recipe, which uses, what, aluminum, I guess? <clears throat> and, uh, I guess that's it. I guess that's everything. Okay. I got a lot of phone messages. Let's see what people want to say. Hey, Rowan. What's up? I've... I, it's surprising to me, but I've started looking forward to our outings. Is it strange to want to be used? Um, I don't know. We're, we're right back into Boyfriend Dungeon, where we have to talk about the questions of, hey, this is effectively a completely different culture, and, and I don't, I'm not fit to answer these questions. Um, I'm gonna say not so strange, sure. Not so strange. Good. I'm strange enough already, I think. Even so, maybe we should have we should have an outing that isn't functional. Maybe I've been spending too much time with the moon. Let's get some sun at the park. Sure. That sounds nice. I'd like that. Thank you. Uh, I didn't mean to close my phone. I have more messages to look at. Uh, Isaac. A company I invested in is hosting a thank you party. It's a bit embarrassing, but the party is hosted by Slicer, the dating app for weapons. <laughs> sure, yeah. Will there be monsters, or am I invited? I don't want to say am I invited. That's really presumptuous of me. Will there be monsters? <laughs> no, no. We weapons can do more than fight monsters, you know. Would you do me the honor of being my date? Uh, yeah, as a friend, sure. Understood. I could really use a friend right now. To the Verona Hotel ball Ballroom. See you there. Oh, it's like now! Oh, I didn't... It's now! <laughs> I did not expect that. Okay, okay, it's now, it's now. Turns out it's now. Okay, it's now. <sighs> it's almost time to leave to meet Isaac at his investor party. You realize you aren't sure what to wear to an investor's party. Something sparkly, something serious, something comfortable. Nothing I own is good enough. Something serious, I don't know. You dress with precision, every garment in perfect alignment. Then you wonder, what if you're overdressed? What if you look ridiculous? Look, Isaac did not tell me what to wear. Just like match his wardrobe, not not like like the same, but like you know that like level of of dressedness. You'll be fine. <laughs> you change clothes a few times until it's too late. There's no time. Finally, you put the first outfit back on and run out the door. The lobby looks packed with an unusual crowd of young software types. The entry is blocked. Private event tonight. You on the list? Well, hello. They're with Brooks Associates. I am suddenly realizing I'm not sure if the balance is right, and if it's just like background music and sword slashes, that's not a big deal, but if you need to hear the dialogue, then that might be a problem. So I'm gonna try and read all the dialogue, even if they read it, and hopefully that doesn't get annoying. Darcy knows everyone, huh? Isaac squeezes your hand and leads you into the party. I love your jacket. I must get your tailor's number. Thanks for coming. Your support means so much to me. Uh, I'm my tailor, thank you very much. I made this jacket, maybe. Actually, I think I might have bought this jacket. Never mind, I don't think I made this jacket. I don't actually remember. I might have, I might have made it. It's been a while since I've played this. Oh, this is for you? 
me and the other investors and employees. I hope my father makes it. I told him this gala was for his favorite charity. Where is he? A familiar face approaches with a smirk. Hmm. I see Slicer invited true VIPs. Darcy, is this weapon your date? He's more than just a weapon. None of your business. Just friends. We're in love! Lie. <laughs> I wonder if this would have said lie in big, like, brackets if I hadn't said, I will go with you as a friend. Because it's kind of presumptuous for the game to tell me if this is a lie or not. <laughs> um, I think it's always kind of a lie because it's not like Isaac's told me that before, so I don't know. I'm just saying none of your business. Screw you. No. Huh. But this is exactly my business. Have you seen his blade? So fine and straight. I'm standing right here. I should have said that he wasn't just a weapon, probably. That might have been more polite, but whatever. Too late now. You sure are. Good job, you. Everyone loves a sharp-dressed man, hmm? Now, if you'll excuse me, I see a platter of shrimp puffs with my name on it. <sighs> How does that ass know you anyway? Uh, I hate him, that's how. Hi, Danae. <laughs> Welcome in. Thanks for joining. If you have any critiques on sound balance and stuff, I'd love to hear them. Because <laughs> I, I am a mess right now. <laughs> All right, he owns a weapon shop. Oh? Oh, so there's more to this story. Isaac? Isaac, what is this hellscape? The whiskeys all have multiple malts. Like, not single malt whiskey. Gotcha, that is, that is a very silly way of saying that. Uh, good evening, father. Can we have a calm, civil conversation? <sighs> This is most certainly not the foundation for dogs attending Harvard. That's your favorite, that's your favorite charity, huh? Nice. You told me Dr. Muffin III would be here. Ugh. Uh, well, some of those people have dogs, I'm sure. These people's dogs haven't even graduated high school. What have I seen? Someone taps the microphone, and the music is turned off. Uh, thanks, Danae. Uh, good to see everything sounds good. I don't want to talk too much about, you know, talk shop that much, but uh, <laughs> I'll shoot you a message later if you're still interested. A Slicer executive takes the stage and starts talking about the profit in sword smooching. Vincent marches at the door. The Slicer executive starts listing all the hardships they overcame and thanking their investors. Eventually, she names Isaac and Brooks Associates by name in a special thank you for his generosity. You notice Isaac smiling to himself as the speech ends. Someone turns the music back up and the dance floor starts to fill. Well, I don't think everything she said was true. My help wasn't necessary. Hmm. If everyone were paid a living wage, we wouldn't need investors. We could also reduce inheritance, but... Where'd my father go? Oh, we could also in reduce inheritance. Where'd my father go? He left, don't worry about him. I mean... Do I know that he left, or am I just, like, presuming? Because if so, yeah, he left. I don't know. I don't know. I have nothing else to say about that. He left. Ugh. Of course he did. Let's get some fresh air. Oh, I shouldn't have brought it up. Is that what you're trying to tell me, game? Whatever. Isaac leads you outside. Vincent and Isaac's assistants are talking. And that's when Isaac pooped his pants in front of the whole family. Wow, that's hilarious. Father. Oh, hi, uh, Isaac, I I'm gonna go. Ah, uh, my worthless son, are you done with your farce? <clears throat> I wanted to show you that my money helps people, real people. 
Instead of obsessing over how much m money others have, why not take care of yourself? You don't even have a partner. Unless, don't tell me you're dating this disaster. Vincent gestures in your general direction without looking at you. Just friends, I'm the disaster or hey? <laughs> I don't feel like I need to say anything in this situation. Why do I need to butt in? Uh, you know what? Let's call this guy out. Why not? I'm the disaster. Leave Darcy out of this. What matters to me is that I make a difference. <coughs> Funding these boars isn't making a difference. All you're making is a fool of yourself. <sighs> Vincent gets in the town car and slams the door. The driver pulls away. Isaac sighs, staring after him. Well, now I can enjoy the party without distraction, I guess. Are you okay? Want to get out of here? I'll take your mind off of it. Are you okay? Yes. I'm alright. I knew this was likely going to happen. All I wanted is a good job, but nothing with him is ever simple. Come on. Let's forget him. I'll introduce you to a few people. Your friendship is my most valuable investment yet. I don't think that's true, but okay. I feel like I'm not really that like close friends with you personally, but I'm okay. Sure. Good good luck, Isaac. He offers you his elbow with a small bow. <laughs> Love rank three. What do I get? What do I get? Allay. Hold any heavy attack to charge up into a more powerful move. Cool. And perhaps small gift for a special friend. What? New equipment? Blue flower? <laughs> okay, sure, thanks. <laughs> I bought you that little thing. I don't know if it's your style, but I'd like you to have it. <laughs> I love it! Wonderful. Now, let's see what kind of music that DJ has started to play. Hmm? You rejoin the party and spend the rest of the evening together. I was in the middle of checking my phone and then all of that happened. Because <laughs> I said, sure, I'll go with you to that thing. And didn't realize they meant immediately. <laughs> Alright, where was I? <laughs> Seven, what do you have to say? Never going to kick... Never going to kicks again, so hope you have other ideas. Copy's fine, I'll be at kicks. Never going to kicks again. Hope you have other ideas. Yeah. I feel like I, I probably had the same options before the second. Yeah, that makes sense. Hope you have other ideas. Beach, movie, dinner. Are we are we going on a date? Are you asking me to a date right now? I guess so. Hi Simon, welcome in. How has it been? Alright, I'm gonna not talk to Seven right now. I had a great time last night. Thanks again for coming. Me too. Thanks for inviting me. Yeah, that was really good. Now I'm warmed up for facing your fears in the dungeon. Okay, so... Seven... Beach? I'm gonna say beach. Not because I care a lot about the beach, but because... I met a guy who said that he, like, hangs out at the beach and I haven't ha seen him since. And I'm like, where's that guy? Where where's Jonah? I, I feel like the story is supposed to run into Jonah. Let's go to the beach. That's, like, not a great reason, but, I mean, I don't have any opinions about these other things anyway, so who cares, right? Beach? Eh, I don't know. I'll think about it and get back to you. How about a movie? I could go for horror or action. Cool. So I, I, I didn't expect it to matter. <laughs> like, like, the next scene is a scripted scene anyway, so, yeah. Um, horror or action? Let's go action. I'm not huge into horror. Action! Yeah, okay. How about we see The Dunge? It's showing at 6.30 most nights. I heard it's good. Let me know. Okay, let's go. Meet you inside. Don't bring the fan club. Cool! 
Doing good. Reading up on Avatar Legends. Is that a... I don't know what that is. How's the Boyfriend Dungeon? Boyfriend Dungeon's good. I've missed it. I didn't get to play it last week because everything exploded. And this time, it exploded again. And I said, I don't care that it's exploded. I'm playing anyway. So here we are. All right, does, does this do anything? <laughs> Blue Flower. Beverages heal more. Interesting. Achoo, uh-oh. Do I like that better than blocks uh, enemies get stunned when they damage you? Yeah, sure, let's do this. I mean, I'm not going to get damaged by monsters anyways, right? <laughs> Alright, sweet. Okay. Uh, let's go. Oh, the, uh, the Last Airbender RPG. Is it the first one that they've made? I feel like I've seen Avatar-esque RPGs before. Maybe it's the first like official one? I could I could believe that. So I've got two. I can either go here or I can go to the park. I wanted to talk to um, Rowan. I said that I'd hang out with Rowan and then accidentally went to a dinner. Like, gala, 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 gala. Uh, so, so they've been waiting a while. <laughs> oh hey, it's the cat! You find Rowan staring off into the distance as a cat creeps up on them. Crowley seems nervous. Nothing more. Nah, and nothing more! The cat hunches down, ears flat, eyes fixed on Crowley, preparing to pounce. Watch out, bad kitty, wait and see. I'm gonna wait and see. Hey, Lucky! Oh, everyone's showing up. I wouldn't do that if I were you, little feline. <laughs> Crowley makes a low caw, a bit like laughter. The last cat that tried to eat Crowley lost an eye, I believe. The orange cat pauses, tail lashing. Finally, the cat turns and walks away nonchalantly, as if entirely unconcerned. See, Crowley? No need for violence. Words have power. And what about you, Darcy? How will you handle the forces that hunt you? I'm being hunted? I can handle any attack. You'll protect me. I'm being hunted? What? Yes. Surely. At the very least, we are all hunted by death. Slowly, but surely. Well, I don't have to worry about that one, because I can't do anything about it, right? Alice, my grandmother, was the strongest witch I'll probably ever meet, and even she wasn't enough. But I feel unprepared for how to care for her effects. The physical things all clean up nicely, but what about her digital remains? Excuse me? Pretty bird. Pretty bird. Hush. Oh, hush, Crowley. I know you put your pictures online for all to see. No shame. What? <laughs> He does what now? He has too many followers as it is, Darcy. Don't encourage him. Now that you think of it, you realize you've seen Crowley before in a few viral videos. <laughs> sure, why not? Yeah. Yeah, sure. Pretty bird. Pretty bird. Alice was also active on the line. On a line? Online? Many profiles and comments and so on. In the real world, our royals and tracks are worn away, much as our spiritual energies fade on that plane. Hmm. Is it the same for digital traces, or are they permanent? Depends on the website, they'll be deleted eventually. I never really thought about it. I mean, it's an interesting point of like, you leave a thing and it is there, quote unquote, forever. But that's like true about like any impact on the physical world, right? Like. Like, they were talking about possessions and, like, the physical gets cleaned up well enough. And it's like, I guess it does, but also, you know, it's still there. I don't know. Ah, uh, yeah. I mean, it, it, it will, unless, like, very explicitly, I don't know. I'm gonna say I never thought about it. I feel like these are not accurate enough. That's the problem with having conversations, like, four words at a time. <laughs> 
<laughs> never thought about it. I suppose nothing can be truly permanent. Not even the mountains. No matter how much I might want it. If she didn't fade, it would also make it harder to let her go. And she would want me to move on. She was a big believer in growth. Her weapon shape was even a garden trowel. Sweet! Okay, so there are, like, weapon people who are not, like, explicitly weapons. Is that why you're a scythe? Right? I feel like your scythe is very weapon, though. Right? Like, you're not, like, a practical, like, farming scythe. You're, like, a weird, ornate, like, arcane scythe. So... But that's cool. That's interesting that that's, like, a thing we're adding to the lore. Sorry, you're probably tired of me talking about her. I just don't have anyone else to talk to. <laughs> you know what I mean. Someone who isn't always also grieving. Someone more normal. But maybe my sense of normal is a bit skewed. How often do you think about death, Darcy? When I have to, often, just on my birthday. What? <laughs> Yeah, oh, oh, I guess it's kind of a normal thing. It's like, oh, I'm getting closer. I guess people do that, maybe. I'm gonna say when I have to. I feel like that's accurate. I don't think about death much. Oh. Hmm. I cannot believe that's healthy. Especially for one who kills with such frequency. I've never killed anyone. They're toasters and, like, cell phones and stuff. If one deals death as a profession, such as a wielder, it's irresponsible not to consider the consequences. Apparently I have this now. New equipment, flower ground. Sweet, okay. Though we should contemplate life as well. Speaking of which, we made this for you. Together. Okay. Weird that they timed that. Like, you should have showed it here, but whatever. <laughs> Pretty human. Pretty human. Thanks, both of you. Rowan and Crowley each make a small bow, seeming pleased with themselves. Wow, that's incredibly callous of the toasters you killed. Thanks, Simon. <laughs> you gonna head out, Lucky? All right. <laughs> yeah, it's late for you. You should get some sleep. Things are dropping in, though. But there are other, even more clarifying activities for growth. Love magic, for example. I've done some calculations and it seems we may have compatible energies. Would you like to offer a gift? Nah, I don't have any gifts. You decide not to give a gift right now. Oh. Um. Would you enjoy it if our bodies were to meet, um, ritualistically, but also physically? Um... Maybe? I'm gonna- these answers are amazing. This game really, really likes to make you overtly sexual. Like, all the time, you, you are constantly have the option to flirt with somebody. Like, any sentence is like, I like to- I like using you in the dungeon, and you're like, okay, calm down, right? And now this one is just like, <sighs> like, like, you seem baffled, which is really funny. Like, considering the options you are usually allowed to say. Uh, uh, what? Maybe? I don't know. Maybe. Sure. Sorry, I can see I've startled you. Let me ask this a different way. Hmm. Would you be interested in a kiss? We may or may not explore sex later, as you wish. No, just friends. Yes, I'd like that. Just romance, no sex. This sounds like a very intentional um asexual representation um inclusion because the game devs seem very like concerned uh, not concerned but like present and aware and like intentionally including things like that uh which is cool uh yeah i'd like that i'll, I'll take a kiss you're cool I always feel like if I say, like, no, just friends, it's gonna, like, lock me out of things, which is probably not true, because it's it's Boyfriend Dungeon. It's, like, right there, but anyway. Rowan's cool. <laughs> yeah, I like that. Rowan seems startled, blinking with a sudden... Sorry, that, that's Rowan's voice. Rowan seems startled, blinking with a sudden vulnerability. Yes. 
I'm glad my love magic calculations were correct. We'll grow so much together, I think. Pretty human. Pretty human. Crowley, please, have some decency. <laughs> Crowley grumbles and flaps away. Oh wow, Crowley's gone. Bye, Crowley. You lean into each other, feeling a soft, comfortable warmth spreading, spread from where your skin touches. Do que periculan. You share a quiet, sunlit kiss. You think you hear Latin words whisper from their lips. Okay. Love magic. Love right three. Deadly momentum. When an enemy dies, get a brief damage boost that can stack up to three times. Heck yeah. Ruin spends a few moments just looking at your face. Thoughtful. Farewell. I have a lot to think about. Thank you, Darcy. Blessed be. You head home. I do, in fact, head home. Let's take a look at this flower crown. Everyone's giving me flowers. Carry more beverages, but fewer zines. I have another one that does that, I think. Or I had the option of getting one, and I chose not to. Oh, yeah. Bike helmet. Carry more beverages, but fewer zines. I promised Mom I'd be safe. That one's so cute. I like that one a lot. Conceptually. Timeless. Fashionable. Is that, like... That's probably intentional, right? Like, fey? Yeah. Now I'm gonna stick with this blue flower. It's cool. Oh, I want to see what it looks, though. Ooh! Yeah. Alright, cool. Rowan! I got a bit sunburned. I got a bit sunburned, but I'm glad I saw you. And had the bravery to ask you. I'll be thinking of that kiss for some time. For now. The dungeon awaits us. Cool! Time to go on a date! <laughs> what up? Oh, I see. I need to choose between them. I could just go shopping while they're waiting. That'd be great. You and Seven find your seats as the movie starts. We're going to the dunge. Movies are the showings are the shrouded isle a game by the studio kid fox games lucifer within us is that does kid fox have to do with that am i thinking of a different i'm gonna have to look that up later i feel like i've said this during one of these streams before oh well moon hunters moon hunters same thing moon hunters 3d yeah uh so the dungeon isn't playing is what I is basically what I'm getting at. <laughs> you and Seven find your seats as the movie starts. The film features a virtuous hero struggling against the odds to save her son. We can do this, but we have to work together. <laughs> I bet the son's gonna become a sword saver. A katana, maybe? Before long, the sidekick dies, and Seven frowns. Eventually, the hero mother emerges victorious, son standing proudly beside her. The lights come up, and you leave the theater. Oh man. Maybe I set my expectations too high. I mean, it was fine. Hmm. What did you think? I like more realism. I like the adrenaline. I like spending time with you. That's not an answer. That that might be like a good line, but it's not an answer to the question that was asked. <laughs> uh, I don't know. I like. I don't want to say I like more realism. I think that realism is overrated a lot of the time, especially in movies. Movies are about like something larger than life. They don't have to be, but you know, I like the adrenaline. <laughs> Your heart rate goes up watching this stuff. You the dunge hero. That's kind of funny. Like to offer a gift. No. You decide not to give a gift right now. Love rank two. Alright, I get a choice at this level. Long distance, chain lightning can reach farther. Or paralysis, chain lightning stuns enemies. Ooh. Ooh. Interesting. Okay, so when finishing a combo, an energy bolt damages nearby enemy. Having extra range on that seems really good. I'm gonna take the range. I'm gonna take the range. 
Oh wow, hi guys, I totally didn't know you'd be here. Hey! I don't remember what her voice was. Apparently it's hey! Seven makes a face, as if pleading silently for rescue. We were just leaving. I haven't seen you around the cafe lately, but I wanted to give you something. Seven, I... I wrote this personal letter? Yeah. Alright, I'll take it. Fins are important to me. Uh-huh. Uh, no, that's... Is... Sorry, can you deliver it for me? Seven blanks. It's for Sung Woo, my ultimate bias. Can you give him... Can you give it to him for me? Pretty, pretty, please? He stares at her for several seconds. This is like, this is the whole thing, right? This is why, like, in the in the middle of the movie, he was just like, he frowned at the sidekick dying because he sees himself as a sidekick in someone else's movie. Ah, interesting. Very cool. He stares at her for several seconds. Nuh uh. Nuh uh. Seven walks away. Huh? Wow. Fame sure has gone to his head, huh? What do you mean? Did you know him, like, before he was famous or something? Or what? Libby's holding an envelope. Sung Woo is written on it with hearts for O's. Okay. I'll just have to figure out where Sung Woo's staying, I guess. That's... that's stalking. It's not stalking if I don't bother him. It's just a letter. Nothing creepy in it, either. Hmm. She sighs dreamily and wanders away. Alright. Cool. You head home. Had to go. Had to go. Sorry. Talk to you later. Yep, that's that's reasonable. We are caught up on all of our social and date interaction stuff. Time to go fight things in a dungeon. All right. So I'm trying to like get everyone. Yeah, let's just do Sunder and Seven because they're both level two. Which floor? I'll start at nine. Sure. Going down. Ah, oh, yes. All of that other stuff was important, and I'm glad I did it. But I'm here to beat I some monsters. I wonder if any of my sponsored brands are sold here. I wonder. How do I do the tree lighting again? I do not recall. Alright, um, so let me just double check all this stuff. Laser sword. When finishing a combo, any combo, doesn't matter if it's a light combo or a heavy combo, got it. Energy bolt damages a nearby enemy from the first enemy. From the first enemy hit, like, what? Like, first in the combo? That's me. That's my decoy. I'm not seeing any lightning, I gotta be honest with you. It'll have to do. See lots of good materials, that's nice. Let's go! I am not finding the right flow of this weapon. Let's just do that. Oh, that's not an exit. Never mind. Right, this this weapon's fun because it has big AoE. That's what it is. I forgot. You found business suit amethyst. Nice. Heck yeah, I would like an amethyst business suit. Are you kidding? That sounds awesome. What is this? Anything? Okay. Okay. 
Fetcher's on. Can you handle it? Oh, I did see the lightning that time. That was cool. Yeah. Okay, 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 okay. Yes, good. Done and done. Should we do an encore? Remember that I'm a musician? Remember that's like part of my character? Yeah. I super don't know how to do Seven's voice. Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll keep, we'll keep a Seven. I've like established a voice in my head, but it's not actually accurate is what I've realized. That AOE is so nice. Wow. All right, all right. I'm getting the feel for how this game plays again. I have kind of forgotten. <laughs> Especially if I can use beans to like... Oof. Use zines to distract people while I set up my big... my big hits. Oh yeah, I think my, uh, my potion... not my potion. <laughs> my, my, um... I'm gonna swap that out for the stun, I think. It doesn't seem to do much damage, the uh, the chain lightning. So, yeah. That is something to do next time, I think. Uh, what was I saying? Something, probably. That sounds like me. Oh, right, just that, um, the drinks heal more. Because of my my flowery accessory. Are you actually scared of me? Interesting. Huh. I did not expect that. Not bad. Found glitter eyeshadow recipe. Check it out at your workbench. Sweet. What is that? It was wire. Okay. Ticka, 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 ticka. Let's check this place out. It looks different. Oh, I remember this mall now. I've been here before. I've been living in Seoul since I was eight, but I still have some memories. Growing up in VB, this fountain was always my this fountain was my favorite. We didn't have money to shop with, but I would take off my shoes and play. Missed that. Just being a kid, you know? Not worrying about how you look. <laughs> I guess that's stupid to think about. You can never go back. Take off your shoes. Play. Look forward instead. Our past is part of who we are. Take off your shoes. Play. What? Huh? You splash him with water. <laughs> no. -uh. Stop. Stop. Thanks, I appreciate the sentiment, but not right now. I'm done here. Can we go? I mean, I did not consent to splashing him. I just thought it'd be a cute thing to say, but all right, fine. We'll keep going. Seven's still the lowest ranked weapon. Uh, Sunder's also level two, but um, so Sunder's also ranked two, but they have more experience. So. 
or whatever it's called. Love points? I don't know. Very nice. That resource is just called liquid. That's amazing. Let's see how you do under pressure. Yeah, we haven't had any, like, challenge locations, have we? Weird. I wasn't sure if that was gonna miss me or not. I'm glad it did. I almost missed the button. Yeah, I hit the uh, the decoy instead on accident of the instead of the heel. Disappointing. Eh. All right, there we go. Oh, I almost got a hundred bucks. Nice. That's the wrong way. How deep am I right now? Four eleven. <laughs> Wouldn't mind chilling here if you're into it. Yeah, let's chill here. Well, it's a cat, I guess. Sort of. Uh, yep. Mm-hmm. Yep. Well. Hmm. I mean, if you look at it from the side, it's kind of cool. Graceful, sort of. Seven shrugs. Whatever. When I was a kid, my cat was black. I called him Bodo, which means grape in Korean. Hmm. His eyes were round like grapes. We'd play tag and then cross the apartment. We gave him to a stranger when we moved away to Korea, though. Uh. I hope he had a happy life, but I'll never know, so no point wasting time on it. We have work to get back to. Okay. Interesting. So... We're getting a recurring theme of, like, yearning for younger days away from its current responsibilities. Which is interesting. Like, I feel like there's something special about his circumstances that make that a more fitting story for him than anyone else who, like, has a job. <laughs> they don't scare me. Ah, uh, dang, I, I put it down, and I <laughs> it made it hard for me to walk. I body blocked myself. Oh, no. Yeah. All right. Ooh, hello. Hope this isn't stealing. Pretty ribbon recipe. Nice. I'll make a pretty ribbon out of... I don't know, wires or something, probably. Heck yeah. Alright, we're getting some flow now. That'll be good. <laughs> we'll have to admit it. That was satisfying. All right. Next floor. We might switch to Sunder now, actually. Although I kind of want to try out the new, uh, the new, the new, the rank three abilities. Let's see. Sunder is 115. They're pretty close. Yeah, let's, let's do some Sunder. This is probably the rest of the stream. It's so funny. This is like, it really is like Persona condensed down into like the symbols. Like, it doesn't have the whole like using Personas and, and summoning different things or anything. Which is, a, is definitely a big part of Persona, right? The like, Pokemon aspect of, of collecting different like fighters and stuff. Um, but it's a very boiled down like, you have a life, and you talk to people, and you hang out, and then you go into a dungeon, and you kill things, and it's like, it's a very satisfying loot. I forgot that I'm using a different weapon. Um, let me actually think about 
how Sunder works. I don't recall. Uh, sorry, Sunder. I forgot I changed weapons. <laughs> we won. Like we always do, as far as I'm concerned. Alright. Sunder, Sunder, Sunder. The Talwar. Uh, okay. Light combo. I mean, these are these are always the same, aren't they? But finishers cause enemy to bleed. So any finisher, which I think is just like the last hit in a combo. Finishers have a larger attack area. Okay. Okay, cool. I think I just like the light attack on this one, actually. That's cool. It is weird that, especially as, like, one of the first weapons that you get, that, um, you have a bleed effect when you're not fighting, like, things with flesh and blood. A little bit of a, an interesting choice. Like, they could have called that effect something different. Where am I? Oh. Oh, hello. Oh, that can't be good. Blobs. Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna hit you. That's left. I mean right. Oh, I got stunned. Oh, that's not good. We don't like that. I guess I guess I could probably roll. I could probably have rolled from right there. So that stun isn't to, like, set up attacks. That stun is purely to, like, allow them to move to a different location. Okay, yes, I can roll through these. Yeah, 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 of course. Those, those friends really can't deal with my, uh... The, the decoy is great. I love the fashion zine. The fashion zine is excellent. Oh, dang. Okay. I need to actually get to them faster so I can... Something you like, monster? Ow! Dang it, I can't get to them. Maybe I shouldn't be trying to get to them? I don't... Okay, there we go. Yeah, 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 yeah. We got this. That was a cool fight. I like that. Oh. I did it, I guess. A new plushie can be found in your apartment. What? Wait, I cleared the mall dungeon. Oh. Oh. So, right now, I only have one dungeon available to me. So, this is implying, hey, you finished this dungeon. That's awesome. Okay, I wonder how that affects the story. Fear of change conquered. In interesting. I see. They're like a butterfly. Fear of change. Cool. Oh. Oh. Is this a new friend? Nice. Sunder, how is it that you're always the person with me when I go and meet a new sword? Or weapon, I should say. I feel like that keeps happening. Where I'll be like hanging out with Rowan all day and then I'm like, I'll switch to Sunder. Sunder's not that leveled. And then I meet Seven and it's like, what? <laughs> I could just leave. <laughs> I could just leave. Oh, 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 yeah, I shouldn't. 
That seems rude. The chipped pole arm is a little unwieldy in your hands. Did I just pick them up? That seems rude. As you touch it, it transforms. Pole arms are cool. Oh. That's not what I was expecting. Hey, whoa, careful. Hi, I'm Sawyer. Hey, whoa, careful. Hi, I'm Sawyer. Sorry I'm a little long. I don't mean to be awkward to wield. That is such a weird thing for me to say. Actually, I didn't mean to be down here at all. My memory's fuzzy, and my head hurts like crazy. I feel like something's missing. It's weird. Your blade is cracked. Huh. I guess I should go to the hospital and call my mom. Or my blacksmith. Hmm. Wait. Is that like a joke? Or is that like a real thing? Is that... No, you can't... Come on, game. Come on. What? No, come on. But all that has to wait because I'm late to history class. Oh. It's probably over. You're fine. Tardy! My professor's gonna dock me points for sure. Gotcha. But, um... Maybe I can buy you lunch to say thanks. You're pretty quick to assume that I helped you in some way. But okay. Here's my number. Bye for now. See ya, Sawyer. They hurry away towards the exit. Alright, cool. I mean, that's just generally how you meet anyone new in this... <laughs> In the dungeon. It's just like, yeah. Hey, nice meeting you. Alright, we'll read that mail later. Darcy, wielder level 17. Venturer. Dungeon cleared. Completed four floors. Oh, you get a bonus for leaving the dungeon alive. I didn't know that. Wielder level 18. Wielder level 19. Cool. I was wondering, what's the point of not in leaving early? Other than, like, you get to leave early if you need it to be somewhere. Cool. Uh, Sunder maxed out. Cool. Did, um... I wonder if uh, Seven also got to get maxed out from that or not. I don't know. Ah! Yeah! I got a plushie. That's great. Does this have my... Okay, so yeah. Um, seven's still at 105. So, not not ready for the uh, next level. Cool. Alright, who's talking to me? We're just gonna probably wrap up here. Maybe, maybe we'll, do, we'll do one or two scenes. But mostly we're probably just gonna wrap up here. Sawyer. Hey, nice to meet you. I only recently came out as non-binary, um, but please, please use they, them. Anyway, I don't know if you're free, but I, I could, I could buy you breakfast or lunch at Kix. It's my favorite place. Sure, that's awesome. Perfect. See you there. That is cool. And I like that they introduced, um, the pronouns, which not that that's something that they have to do. <clears throat> I just think it's interesting that Rowan did not. Rowan is clearly non-binary. Everyone treats treats them as non-binary. Um, but uh, that wasn't a conversation that we had. Um, which is interesting. And it's cool seeing that as like, this is a conversation that you have with a person because you kind of have to most of the time, turns out. Um... Not something that they, they have to do, like Rowan did not, but not something that the game is just going to be like, word of God, we're telling you that they're non-binary, but you're never going to have that conversation, which always feels weird in media, honestly, where it's like, we can't just have all the characters know without ever having that conversation. Anyway. Um, hey, Eric. What up? Looks like there's another dungeon now, under La Rosa. That idiot Sunder will probably get himself killed down there. 
Good thing he has you to save him. Are you the telling me about new dungeons person? Weird. Why, why is that you? Why are you that person? Okay. Hey, Mom. Jesse said he's worried about you and one of your boyfriends. He wouldn't tell me why, though. Are you okay, sweetie? I need advice. I'm fine. Do I? Wait. Jesse, what, what? What's up, Jesse? I mean, I haven't talked to Jesse in a while. What's Jesse talking about? Interesting. I should have a response of, what did Jesse tell you? <laughs> tell him he should talk to me. I need to know these things. Does he know something? <laughs> uh, he wouldn't tell me why though. Are you okay, sweetie? Uh, apparently I, the character, know. It says I need advice. I don't, I didn't think I needed advice. I'm just gonna say I'm fine, which feels like a really cop-out answer to tell my mom, but also, I don't think I need any advice. I, I don't know what I'm gonna say to my mom if I click this. I'm fine. I'm sure you can handle it, but maybe I can help. What's wrong? With the boyfriend, I mean. I think he's lying to me. I don't think so. How do you know it's love? I don't think I'm in a position where that's relevant. How do I choose who to love? I don't... This sucks. I don't want to leave my mom on red. What? What? What is this? <laughs> Alright, how do you choose who to love? That's an interesting question. <laughs> Sounds like you're getting popular over there. Hope you still come home in September. We haven't talked about it, but you're monogamous then? I think so. Yeah, not really. Yeah. Well, I mean, what do you what do you mean? Like, I'm not in a relationship with anyone. <laughs> I am just I have a bunch of friends and we're figure we're 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 getting to know each other. Yeah. Then ask who makes you happy. Ask who makes you a better person. And to do do what you and do what you know is right good luck with there sweetie thanks all right cool hi seven still think that still thinking about that movie the characters were so stupid villain should have seen them coming fictional characters make the worst decisions makes a good story world dumb sometimes i'm gonna say that one not that dumb not when my life's on the line. Or yours, I hope. Oh well. I mean, I think that's the thing that we think about a lot. We're like, ah! Clearly they should have done blah! And you're like, I mean... I've thought that about myself thinking about things I did. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, you don't think of it in the moment a lot of the time. Turns out. Turns out we're all dumb sometimes. Alright. Hey, Sunder. Hey, I'm getting some weird vibes from that base from my basement i mean the club's basement it's always been creepy but this is different i think i saw a monster down there are you are you afraid of course without a wielder around anyway it doesn't seem like the monsters will come upstairs we could just dance and ignore them i guess let me know if you need someone someone to wield i've been thinking a lot Oh, was that two separate conversations? Yeah, there's a line here. Interesting. Oh, right! Eric said that there's a dungeon under La Rosa. La Rosa is Sunder's club, I guess. I'd forgotten that. But yes, that's exactly what that is. So there's a new dungeon which is under Sunder's club. Cool! It just happened that I got that information at the same time that Sunder leveled up. That's okay, interesting. I've been thinking a lot and. I've decided for sure. I don't want you to die. Not planning on it. What about you? Thanks? I'm gonna say thanks for the question mark. That's a weird thing to say. <laughs> yeah. So, wanna hang out? Summer nights are the best. No death allowed. Knife. Knife. Yeah, alright. Sure. Meet you at the beach at nine. 
That was like weirdly one of the most organic conversations I've had with Sunder. He's not just like, hey, you want to be my date as we go dancing? And I'm like, I that's a bit forward. I do. But he's just like, hey, you want to hang out? And I'm like, yeah, yeah, I'd like to hang out. <laughs> I like you when you're more like, do you want to just hang out? <laughs> Instead of being so aggressive. That's cool. Ugh, all right, let me see. Did I get, an, I got some new recipes. Let's take a look at my recipes and that'll probably be, yes, we'll wrap up there. Okay, so. A business suit amethyst recipe. I've got all the ingredients for that. I have plenty of the ingredients for that. Let's go. It's sugar and plastic, baby. Of course it is. Uh, go check it in the mirror. Yeah, I will. All right, cool. Next. We got a knight's helmet. I still don't have aluminum. We've got glitter eyeshadow, which is a, you know, a, a, a gift. And we have a pretty ribbon recipe, which requires glue. I can buy glue. Let's go buy glue. Actually, how much do I have? Yeah, this is a dungeon now. Oh, that's so cool. I like legit was like, when are there gonna be more dungeons? Is there just one dungeon the whole game? Is it like Tartarus and Persona 4? And by four, I mean three. I was a miss spook. Oh, you can go back in though. So you, you can redo the dungeons. Cool. Cool, 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 cool. Um, who can I buy stuff from? Welcome. Okay, uh, I need glue. It's 10 bucks, dang. I did make over 100 though, nice. And do you have aluminum, by the way? That's actually really cute. The persimmon one. That's like, that's like really cute. <laughs> Love you, B. Okay. Um, I'm gonna actually slip into Eric's shop and try to avoid eye contact with him because I think he might have aluminum. Oh, Darcy, find time in your busy love life to stop by. Yeah, I need to see if you have aluminum. Steel! Yeah, you do have steel. Sweet. I'm gonna... Wow, that's expensive. Dang. Um, so I can trade glass for steel. Or I can clay. I can trade three plastic? Hmm. 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 Um. How much does glass cost? Plastic. Okay, three. Yeah, 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 yeah. If I was gonna buy glass, glass would cost me two plastic. Okay, so that's like four plastic, effectively. And three plastic costs, oh, it gives you three though. So one, that's way cheaper. It's way cheaper just to buy fabric and turn it into a, uh... yeah. All right, cool. So pl plastic is the most efficient answer to buy steel. It turns out according to my brain. I think that's correct. Yeah, so you can get three of these for that and you get one, yeah. Unless they have different amounts. One, one, one. Yeah, okay, cool. Boom, we did it. You found steel. Surprisingly pliable with a little effort. Sweet. Did I get the glue? Did I forget to buy glue? I've forgotten already. I'm just walking back and forth. I did buy glue, okay, bye. Sorry. <laughs> all right, all right, cool, 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 cool. Um, actually, another thing about that, there might be a, is there a, I'm gonna ignore it, shh. We are gonna make a thing. We are gonna make a knight's helmet. You made knight helmet. Check it out in the mirror, yay. And we're also gonna make Pretty ribbon recipe. Two plastic and one glue. It's a pretty ribbon. Yay. Checking out the mirror. All right, so first of all, normal clothes, business suit. For business synergy stockholder uh, stuff. Oh, I look rad. Oh yeah, that is definitely the suit I'll be wearing if I need to wear a suit for anything but I will stick with this for now. Although actually, so what is this? Oh, that's cute. 
This is the cardigan combo. Okay, so if I got more of that coloration, it would be this. I think I like this one best. Sweet. And hats. We got a ribbon. Feel pretty because you are. No effect. Cool. Like it. Did it just switch sides? Wow, it does. That's... Okay. Okay, sure. Uh, and then night helmet. Carry more beverages but fewer zines will give me really bad helmet hair. Well, I've got to see what it'll... <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna I'm just gonna stick with the I'm gonna stick with the flower. <laughs> That's really funny to me. Uh, I don't know why. That just that just tickled me. That was very funny. Unfortunately I can't click on my, my good friend up here. It's a shame. Ah, the, the fashion scene's so good. Fashion scene's so good. All right, that brings us to the end of today. Uh, thank you, everybody, for showing up. It was crowded in here, and I hope I sounded great and crisp and clear. And I hope everyone has a lovely, lovely night. I have been Darcy Bits. This has been Hidden Gems and Other Varieties with Boyfriend Dungeon. That probably was too loud. I apologize. We're back at it. Have a good night, everybody.